How you doing, Terry? I'm good. How you guys doing? I'm doing better. Um, than for talking to you. So, uh, how how is this team um, physically entering this series? We're hearing Marcus Smart is out for a while. What are you? T- what, what can yeah, you tell us? I was gonna say well, a lot of people know about the Marcus Smart situation. So, um, you know, obviously a lot of guys be ready to step up and stuff like that. So, you know, that's just where we at. We just have practice today. And, uh, you know, just trying to have fresh bodies and be ready for Sunday. How challenging has this year been for you to figure out your role, the team's role, what what just everybody's role? It seems like it, it's it's been a year-long process, Terry. Yeah, no, it's definitely been a year-long process. It's, it's been tough uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, I would say personally it's been tough, I feel, because the opportunities for myself is just kind of like, wouldn't say taken away, but it was just a lot different than last year. I feel like um, I wasn't presented with the same opportunity, which is fine. You know, we got a lot of a lot of guys, so you know, just trying to find that balance uh, of knowing when I'm gonna be out there for the, for that amount of time and trying to be uh, efficient and, and things like that. But you know, it's been it's been tough, I think, on all of us. So what? What would you describe your role as being heading into this now crucial? Uh, win or go home portion of your schedule, Terry? I feel like I'm more needed now, uh, especially with the uh, Marcus Smart situation that happened. Obviously, uh, I think I'm going to be playing some more minutes. And, uh, you know, I I feel like my energy off the bench is going to be the most important uh, for me in in making winning plays, championship plays, uh, to help us get get over that hump. Okay, and and what has your role been in this locker room, do you think, Terry? Uh. I mean, I, I feel like I'm just one of the guys that just try to help uh, make make it easier for us. You know, we got like I said, we have a lot of talent, uh, but you know, communication goes a long way. You know, with all that talent we have on this team, we still need a lot of guys to communicate. So I feel like I'm one of them guys that uh, you know make it easier for, for my teammates and stuff like that. But, and I'm just still trying to learn and get better at that. Who would you say is the leader of the team? If somebody came up to you, hey, who's the leader of the Boston Celtics? Your answer, Terry Rozier, would be what? Uh, I would say Al Horford, just because of his time being in the league and and him, uh, you know, just having that connection with a, with a lot of different guys. I feel like he's he's our backbone. Uh, another guy I would say is uh, is Kyrie, just because you know he already been in this position plenty of times. He has uh, like I say, he he, he been down this road. This is not his, it's not his first rodeo, and you know he can lead all of us because he he know what it takes. And, you know, he played on them them teams that made it to the championship, so that, that's always a big help. The guys that have that experience. Yeah, one of the I big like. one of the big things this year, Terry, uh, or certainly a national conversation was when Kyrie came out and said he apologized to LeBron for not understanding the tough love that LeBron was uh, administering and how it would be. It was all in the uh, assumption. Or in all, in, in the spirit of, of winning, uh, does Kyrie dole out tough love to to you? I mean, no. I, I, me, and, me and him, I feel we have a great relationship. Uh, obviously, he's he's going to step in and say what he feels when uh, regarding helping me, and I think he's always been great at that. Uh, we never had no bad blood or, or, or got into it. And he's just always been a great help for me, a guy that I look up to uh, on the basketball level. And so you know, personally, I, I I wouldn't say it's it's um it's it's tough love or however you want to put it, but I would say he he don't bite his tongue. He he's there to help. <laughs> okay. Uh, and last one for you on this subject: Do you believe the Earth is round or flat, Terry? No, that's crazy. Because back in my day, I used to say it was flat too. But I don't want to get into that because I don't want nobody calling me crazy or nothing. Else, so <laughs> <laughs> it is it is what it is. Back in your day, what do you mean? Back when you were a kid? Back here at Louisville? No, back I just, where- a couple years ago okay so you know but i'm glad nobody had haven't been pointing that out and then they left me alone about it everybody okay well i don't mean i don't mean to bring up uh tougher times then but so you you would answer round now to that question round or flat you would answer uh i'm just a little bit confused to be honest with you i don't know which one it is okay terry (laughs) terry rosier boston celtics (laughs) guard right here uh on the program um, what is it like being in a huddle with your coach drawing up a play, needing uh, needing a basket to win? Walk me through what that process is with Brad Stevens, uh, Terry. You know, even when I wasn't first playing, like my my first year or two, 
I used to always join the huddles just to see what coach would draw up. And sometimes it's some type of plays like when everybody look around at each other, like it's crazy, but it always work out. I feel, uh, you know, he just has some, some real genius. He's a real genius in his ways of, of, of trying to get guys open shots and knowing what the defense, what they're going to react to and stuff like that. So it's always, I feel like crazy. And when we got to go out there and come out of huddle and play defense and then remember to play that he drew up, Sometimes everybody always forget to play that he draws up because it's, it's super crazy. But, uh, you know, it, it works a lot. And, he, like I say, he, he, he has a feel for this game. He watches a lot of film, and his plays is, is crazy. Well, what did it mean to you to see Drew Bledsoe rocking a Scary Terry shirt and having uh, having your back uh, last playoff season, Terry? What was that uh, like? I think it, it was all unique how that all turned out, you know, about me accidentally saying his name, bringing him back to Boston. Uh, you know, then wearing my Scary Terry uh, <laughs> shirt and then he sending me wine and stuff like that. You know, we kind of talked a couple times this year. So it's just been it's been dope to build that relationship with him. Uh, for, for, you know, a guy like that thinks he did for this city. So, you know, I think it, it all worked out. It was unique. I know. It's great. It's just I know Celtic. I know uh, I got Chris Brockman, my Celtics buddy here on the set. You love that whole situation. It was, it was amazing and so awesome. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. I'm glad it worked out like that. Do you have a Scary Terry t-shirt? I do do. have a Scary Terry t-shirt at home. Fantastic. So is Scary Terry coming out um, against Indiana, Terry? Uh, Well, Scary Terry's going to be there, but I don't know if the shirt's going to be there. Okay. (laughs) We're going to put it that way. Good to know. All right, so tell me about your your 12 blessings uh, and your foundation here, Access Sports America. What what can you tell me about this, Terry? Uh, Well, yeah, today we was – Today, it was like a natural fit. Uh, so, you know, my sister has cerebral palsy. And I, you know, worked with kids today that was obviously have disabilities. And, you know, it was, uh, at this school, the school, I forgot what the school was called. Asian, English, yeah, English, English school. It was the first time doing a basketball event today. They did a lot of different uh, type of sports and uh, up there, but they never did a basketball event up there. So, mm-hmm. you know, I wanted to do that. My sister has silver paws. She should be born with it. And, you know, me and my sister is very close. So, you know, with the whole foundation 12 blessing thing, I always try to connect with, you know, um, people that's, that have disabilities. Uh, we did that today. We get up there, did some basketball drills, connected with the kids, and that, that all worked out, you know, uh, by my trainer, uh, Anthony Wells. He helped design the whole program today. So, you know, it was, a, it was a nice little event. It was up there at the English school today. Very English high school in uh, Jamaica Plain uh, today to officially launch the new curriculum. And how can people get involved uh, if they want to know about uh, this foundation and obviously what you're doing with 12 Blessings to see if they can uh, replicate it in their own hometown? Terry. Uh, so, uh, pledge it. Mm-hmm. The campaign is going to be on my uh, bio on Instagram and Twitter. Okay. So I'll make sure everybody can uh, connect and uh Great. Make it easier for them. <clears throat> yeah. At, goal, basically, the goal is to help everyone feel like an athlete and create those feelings and a compliment. Okay. And have pride and confidence. So that's my whole goal. Fantastic. Hey, uh, Terry, good luck uh, in the playoffs. Let's chat uh, throughout the playoffs if you're up for it. Appreciate you calling in. Definitely down. I appreciate you guys for calling me. Of course. And and I love what you're doing, obviously, with your with 12 Blessings there. That's That's great work that you're doing there in the community. Thanks for the call. I appreciate that. You bet. That's uh, Terry Rozier at T underscore Rose three. For more of the Rich Eisen show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen show app.